Hi Libra, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September. Now this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If your birthday falls in September, happy birthday. Oh, take a look at that. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It's a good message, isn't it? And you know, it's funny because I had somebody else slated to go right now. And I decided, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, it was like, oh, I'm going to do Libras. But it was supposed to be another sign, but I'm not going to say it because it's just not. Oh, we got two. We're going to have to take them both. So I put you guys first above them. You should try it. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's a good one, isn't it? It really is. Self-love includes forgiving. Ooh. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. I don't know how that's going to resonate. We're going to have to get some more cards. But. You know, there could be some abandonment issues here. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm getting the goosebumps. So I think that's pretty clear. Um, you need to love yourself. Don't forget it. Okay. You matter. Now, most of my monthlies that I've done this far have been about change, not so much love. Some have had been, you know, they do have love in them, but they haven't been focused completely on love. So let's see what comes up for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. The death of an idea. Letting something go. This could even be a grudge. It could be a grudge to your family. It could be the end of lack of self-respect. The Four of Swords is the end of an idea. It takes recuperation. It takes um, rest. Letting something end. Ooh, with the four of coins, reverse, re uh, releasing. Yeah, you guys are letting go, perhaps letting go of a grudge, letting go, really forgiving. Whether this is a family member or a partner. Letting go of something that you've been holding on to for quite some time, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely letting go. You guys are letting go of something. Something you've been stuck on. Something that's unrealistic and unsatisfying. Something that really wasn't going anywhere. Whew. The time is now to stop putting in effort. You've evolved, you've changed.
you may be realizing that everything happened for a purpose. It looks to me like you guys are really going through some sort of awakening. You've done a lot of healing. You're seeing things through different eyes. You've been through a period of mental turmoil for quite some time. You've been trapped in your thoughts for a while. Trapped in a situation when you could have freed yourself, but you chose not to. You sacrificed time, energy on a situation for quite some time. But it feels as though at this time you guys are going through a transformation. You're probably going through a transition. You've evolved. You're not the you're not the same person that you were. It's like you've gone through a renewal. Or you're going through a renewal right now. You guys may be letting go of something that was once stable and secure. This is a card tied to legacy as well. This is also a card of family feuds. Some of you, this has to do with a parent or a family member. Could be a husband, could be a wife, whatever. It's like I'm, I'm letting go of these, these family ties, you know what I mean? the grudges, the lack of forgiveness. It's time for me to forgive and put myself first. You could be turning away from from something in your family, a family member. You could break you break be, be breaking away. I mean, I have to tell you what this is. I'm not going to give you my energy. I'm not going to give you I'm not going to put in effort to a dead end situation. You guys are releasing, that's for damn sure. It looks as though you guys are releasing something. And I think, it, look, for many of you, not all, it's a grudge. For some of you, it's an actual person, it's a relationship. It's letting it go. I'm done staying stuck. I'm done with this mental turmoil. There's a lot of self-respect here coming. This is like goddess energy when I look at it. It's like I am a goddess or God if you're a male. And I know who I am. I know. Ah, seven of swords. It's like... Oh, seven of swords. Oh, it's been, there's been some lies. There's been some betrayal. Been some conflicts in a... You know, for some of you, there's been some conflicts in a foundation, a family foundation or a relationship foundation. And a partnership. There's been, a con there's been some conflicts. <sighs> and it feels like you have been cheated. You have. You've been cheated. You've been lied to. Cheated of happily ever after. Cheated of abundance. Cheated of security. And maybe that's just a feeling. Maybe you feel that way. Because these are feelings. Anyway, let me get this focused in. But that's not to say it's not true, okay? Either way, don't forget that every, this is a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. 
to make you step outside of your comfort zone. Whew, the tower. So there's probably going to be some sort of, well, rude awakening. That forces you to to free yourself, <laughs> to turn away. There is, there's going to be some sort of event that forces you to give up on something. I mean, release, release, give up. Tower. Release, release, give up. Turn away from some sort of situation that used to be abundant. You may feel like you've been robbed or cheated, or maybe you will be. And you're like, oh, no. You may feel like, I mean, this is like the death of a situation. So something is going away. There's a reason for it. Because you deserve so much more. You're in a situation where you're not getting what you deserve. There's no balance there. And you deserve things to be harmonious and balanced in your life. You're dealing with a somebody or a situation that is untrustworthy. things seem to be happening pretty fast whatever's happening is 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 probably going to push you off the edge you know because if you think about the fool on one of my other decks the fool is a bird on a limb that's never flown that's what the fool is it's in the wild unknown tarot the bird is on a limb and he's about to fly. He's going to trust his wings. So this event is probably going to push you off that limb. It's going to make you fly on your own into the great unknown. Because you deserve something more. It's the end of a difficult time, believe it or not. You may not feel like that when this, whatever this happens, happens. When some, whatever this uproar or event or fight or whatever it is happens. This event, whatever this happens, whenever it happens, you may feel like this is a disaster. But in fact, it's going to allow you to heal a little bit more. It's going to allow you a fresh new beginning. It's going to free you up. And it feels as though you may... Not feel like this is very secure or abundant or stable. And you definitely don't know what you're worth. There's a lack of self-worth. There's a lack of self-respect. There's a lack of, of enjoying life. And when that happens, when you don't know what you're worth, when you're not grateful, when you don't see the good in things, when, when you get to this point of the nine of pentacles reversed and you're not stable and you're not secure and your your insecurities are haunting you in the whole nine yards when things are not at their best the universe will usually step in to make a change sometimes to make you stand up for what you deserve 
to make you defend yourself. And you may end up defending yourself. I feel as though there may be there may be a fight with the with the Knight of Swords reversed and the Seven of Wands. I mean, these there there could be some argument or an event or something that causes an uproar in your life in September. But it forces a change that is needed to help you start over, to help you go on a new path, to make you fly. It's time for me to fly. Ooh, somebody has not wanted to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody has been treated very unfairly. And it feels as though things are quite unbalanced at this time. For you. You know, there's an injustice here. There's there's some sort of untrustworthy individual or situation in your life that is not making you feel very good. It's not. It's not making you feel abundant or secure in any way, shape, or form. There's dishonesty. And I think that you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. So it appears that you guys are seeing things clearly. You're probably going to assert yourself. And, you know, you may take some, some serious action against whoever this person is that is being dishonest with you, lying to you. They may get cut out because I do see that you're releasing. And I see that you guys know exactly what's going on when this event happens. There ain't no, no, oh, glossing over. You know what I mean? It's not like any of it can be hidden. Even though whoever is doing this is going to try to hide it, it ain't going to work. Because you're going to see right through it. That's clear as mud. Um, yeah, I think that you are dealing with somebody that is probably a coward. And you're going to probably uh, cut them right out. I feel as though your strength is going to be tested. Your willpower and your courage is going to be tested this month. The universe is going to come in to test your strength, to test your knowledge, to test your intuition. <laughs> you are dealing with, it could be a parent, it could be a husband, it could be a boss, anybody. You are dealing with somebody that is manipulative, controlling. It could be an Aries. It could be anybody. And doesn't have your best interest at heart. They're a know-it-all. You're dealing with a know-it-all who is probably going to get cut out of your life. And it may, it may hurt you. It may hurt you to cut this person out of your life. But there's a reason for it. There's a hidden there's a hidden reason. There's a reason that you don't that this is happening. You know, cycle the moon is comes in cycles, right? Cycles end, cycles begin. So I feel as though there is some sort of event that is going to happen that that changes your life. And it's for a higher reason. There's a higher power behind it. You know, there's a hidden force. I think there's going to be a change in 
the family dynamics. Something is not as it seems, but it's going to be revealed, okay? Something is going to be revealed that forces a change in the home or the family or something like that. The relationship. Whether it's your love relationship, your parental relationship, your work relationship, there's going to be a change in a relationship. And it's not going to be pretty. It's going to hurt. But in the end, it's going to allow you to fly. It's going to, there's going to be release. It's a lesson. It's some sort of lesson. The world is a lesson. This one is reversed, unfortunately. This has to happen so that you can start the next phase of your life. This closure, whatever it is, needs to happen so that this world can flip around this world card, and you can start that next phase. So I think the universe, this is a universe card, this is a universe card, is going to bring you something that it could be around the new moon or the full moon in September. It's going to bring you a change for the better disguised as a disaster. Anyway, it's going to whatever the, whatever happens is going to allow you to have a fresh new beginning. So, as far as this being a love reading, I don't think so. I think this is going to be a month where your life changes. And you go through some, there's some sort of revelation, okay? There's some sort of event or reveal or truth that comes out that forces you to let go, to release, to heal, to forgive, to put yourself first. I don't know where this wedding card comes in. Maybe you get an maybe you get an uh, an offer of love. I don't know with that Knight of Cups. Maybe this whatever this event is strengthens a relationship that you're in or dissolves it. Yeah, <laughs> it could be the end of a contract, the end of a relationship. Maybe you were involved with somebody who didn't follow through, didn't keep their end of the bargain. This is a contract ending. Now, this could be, like I said, with a parent, even with the wedding card. Because of this forgiving and healing, I feel I do feel abandonment issues here. I do. Either way, there could be a divorce. Again, with the justice card, there could be a divorce. But this is the end of a contract. There's no more compatibility here. There's no more growth. There's no more. There's too many conflicts. There's too much arguing. There's there's no connection. The connection has died. Anyhow, I feel like closure is coming to a situation and it is going to allow you to put yourself first. Do I see new love coming in? No, I do not. Can't say I do. I see that you guys are going to go through some sort of situation that forces a big change a big 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 change i think somebody's being released that's what i see 
Yep. And I think there's something going on behind the scenes, probably around the new moon or the full moon in September. I think there's going to be some sort of event during that time that reveals something that you may end up, you know, you may end up cutting somebody out of your life. Because I see all this release. Joy and delight. Now my weeklies will be love readings. This is a monthly. My weeklies will be focused on love. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Maybe that's what you need to do. I know that you guys have been stuck for quite some time. I can see it with the hangman. You guys have been stuck for quite some time on a situation. And that's when the universe will come in and they'll say, they'll push you off that limb. <laughs> I hope your wings are ready. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can, you can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself, and others. Say yes. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you need to start. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you in wildly and freely. Oh boy. I gotta see where I left off. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the joy of the journey. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these areas will prosper. One, one of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give your heart and follow your bliss. It's time. Love yourself first. Anyway, Libra, this is what I have for September. The weeklies will be focused on just love. Talk to you later.